Hey y'all, welcome to our homestead. Today is chicken moving day. So we're gonna talk about when to move your chicks from the brooder to the coop and chicken behavior. We've got chickens all over the place. Let's talk about how we are gonna meld our flocks together. Now chicken behavior can be odd, especially the pecking order and their social structure. And it's always weird trying to keep the peace within your flock. Now our oldest chickens here are our barred rocks and a Rhode Island Reds. They're two years old. And we had to separate the breeds because they just were not getting along. However, when I had both these breeds when I was young, they did get along. So it's kind of strange. Like I said, chicken behavior is strange. So now I have to introduce leghorns and easter eggers into one of these coops and i've already separated the leghorns and easter eggers and i'll tell you why in a second and that is because i made this brooder too small and i got overly ambitious with the amount of chickens that i wanted for this year's flock i had ordered 13 got 14 and three died so i have 11. Um, I separated the leghorns from these Easter eggers because the leghorns are a very flighty bird and they are very hyper. So they have gone into the big coop with the Rhode Island Reds. These guys have stayed here, but now they are outgrowing this brooder. They need to move. Let's show you what we did with the leghorns. So here we are with our Rhode Islands. They are incredibly <laughs> friendly with me. You can see the one here, her name is Cinnamon. She has been picked on her entire life, but she's, she's good to go. She's still very friendly and surviving. But we've had these leghorns in this little uh, makeshift brooder to introduce them into the coop. And you wanna do that when you move your newer chickens into an established flock. They have been in here for a few days and now it's time to get them out of this makeshift uh, cage right here in, into the flock with the Rhode Islands. And I will move our Easter eggers from the brooder into this for another few days. So I guess first things first, we're gonna move Big Mama Rhode Island into the enclosure with the barred rocks. And I may also move second in charge, her name is Allspice, in with these guys as well because they all seem to get along before and there's plenty of room in this coop. The other one is starting to get a little crowded, so we might move two today. Now the best thing I've found to move chicks is a little dog kennel carrier like this. It's got a handle on the top and when they are, you know, hand size, you can still get your hand around them and they're fully feathered out. You can get them in here really easily. Just kind of tip it up on end like that, open the door, drop them in, and you're good to go. You got the door for me? Thank you. Here's big mama. Yeah. There you go. Say hello. Hello, old friends. Hello, old friends. What's going on? All right, I think the easiest thing for me to do here is to... <laughs> these crazy leg horns. Is to lift up the bottom of the enclosure for the leg horns and kind of swing it back and let them come out. Well, understandably, they don't want to come out. <laughs> There we go. We're gonna give them time to get used to each other again uh, out in the open here and uh, see what these little leghorns do with the Rhode Island Reds. They went outside. So they have to feel each other out. The big dominant Rhode Island that used to dominate the entire flock is now getting picked on because she hasn't been with those barred rocks in a while. So I moved the second in line of the uh, Rhode Islands into this coop with the barred rock. So it's two to three and they're feeling each other out. So I'm gonna give them some time. There's been a lot of pecking already. And also in the other coop, we have our leghorns out of the little brooder and they're running around and of course, getting pecked on as they establish the order. Uh, they're getting pecked on by the, um, by nutmeg, 
who's the lowest on the rung out of all the chickens that we had before. She's the one now pecking on the new little leghorn. So again, got to give them time, let them work it out. And the chicken order is the chicken order. Now let's go get our Easter eggers and put them in that dog carrier that I showed you earlier, the little kennel carrier. We're going to get them from that brooder into this kind of open air brooder and introduce them into this flock here. And that's simply because this coop has much more room than the other one. It's got more places for them to hide and that's important if chickens are getting pecked on that they have places to go to get out of the peck zone, I guess you could say. Now these guys are much more chill. Even if I come over the top of them like this, they're much more relaxed than leghorns. So if you're interested in a, a more docile chicken, these Easter eggers are great. Of course, along with the Barg Rocks and the Rhode Island Reds. So I know I'm gonna have to do a video on clipping wings in the future because those leghorns uh, really, they're a Mediterranean bird and they love to fly. So or they're very flighty. So if you're gonna free range leghorns, or you're gonna put them in an enclosure like just an electric fence, you gotta clip their wings because they're, they're gonna get out and get some height and then go wherever they go. And for us, we cannot free range around here and I don't free range my chickens because we just have way too many predators, including my dog. The white one is the sweetest. She's the most chill. This is a really, really sweet chicken. This is cutie. Cutie. I named her Cutie because she's so cute. Alright, come on, Cutie. It's okay. Here, you want to see Cutie? That's Cutie. <laughs> she is cute. She's a very pretty chicken. Okay. That oh, one. Oh, you're fine. This one is Pie. Pie? Okay. Cutie and Pie. Great. Cute Pie. Now that's better. Is that better? Nothing. And if you, get, if you get tired, put them down. Nothing. Because she's the older one and she's going to get even with nutmeg. Okay, so I've instituted the plan. We've got the Easter eggers in this little cage in here. We've got the leghorns running around inside of the main coop. We've got two Rhode Islands left in here, the two lowest on the rung. And the other ones are out in the other coop with the barred rocks. So they're just going to have to feel things out. Like with going in the coop at night, the light comes on. Hopefully they'll understand that they'll get used to it they'll follow the the uh, rhode islands in there i've got some extra food down here for them as kind of a contingency uh just in case they don't go inside which is where i always keep the food for the chickens but again they will follow the water's out here they'll get used to it and yeah they're chickens just let them do what they're gonna do this little leghorn here is pretty friendly she comes up to me all the time she's the only one though all right, that's what we got going on today on the homestead. Well, there's probably a thousand other things, but I just wanted to share it that with you. And hopefully a little bit of what we do will help you out. And if it doesn't and you think I'm a nut, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comment section below. Now I want you to go check out this playlist right here, which is every single chicken video we've ever made, probably over 35 of them. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.